All right, switch over. Uh, <laughs> very ominous start. As you can see by my tabs up top, uh, I am currently going through a little, uh, little, little nostalgia binge, little nostalgia binge, and um, this was brought on by someone mentioning, uh, what's it, Racketeers or Rocketeers by uh, Far East Movement, and then I looked up Like a G6, so I've never heard any of the Far East Movement other than Like a G6, and I went from that to, um, to Timber by uh, Pitbull featuring, uh, am, I, am I recording? Okay. Uh, Timber by Who Boo 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 Boo, and then Boo 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 Boo, boo Tesh, uh, Kesher, Charlie Kesher. And now I'm just before I get too deep into it, I'm gonna do content so I can get some value off of this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read. I'm just gonna like literally just read some of the like from about 2018 to about 2014. Just just kind of show you guys how good this time was. I'm dating myself because at this time period I was roughly around late elementary, early middle school. So dating myself, of course. But I don't think music is as good <laughs> in the mainstream as it is back then. It's, it's less formulaic. And I want you to understand that when saying that, I understand that pop has been formulated for the last 50 years. But this shit was really good in this formula. I don't. I can't say it about some of these mainstream hits nowadays, bro. I know it's like a dust set. I understand it. Shot it go low, low, lower than you know. Um, I believe that is low by Flo Rida. Uh, Bleeding love, Alina Lewis. I don't know who that is. I don't know what that is. Uh, no, I'm not gonna sing every single one. Lollipop, apologize by One Republic. This one's kind of getting me off. It wasn't too big in the music 2000, to be honest with you. I didn't have access to. I had just a computer, but I wasn't using it for, for this purpose. Um, Love in this club. Now, these are seminal hits here. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. These are some big hits. Young Berg. <laughs> uh, and this this was what... I don't think people understood how much of a power Chris Brown was. I think people understand even to this day that Riri is uh, incredible, obviously. Uh, but it still has been since 2008 or so. But Chris Brown's bigger, if you can think that. Chris Brown was in three of the top ten tracks and was basically we called it next Michael Jackson around this time. And um Rihanna was massive. I mean, she would have had the uh, the Jay Z track, uh Who's Gonna Run This Town Tonight. Uh she had at least like five classics off of that uh the album where she like in blue background. Uh it's on Take a Bow uh, Take a Bow. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, take a bow, bow, take a bow. Uh, Disturbia, Umbrella, Shut Up and Dance, uh, something Drive. I don't know, Drive something. Um, I kissed a girl. This would have been Katy Perry's seminal debut. Uh, Disturbia. I mean, look at this dude. She had what three at the top, like. The next 10. That's pretty impressive. This song, I never knew who fucking made it until I saw Natasha Manfield's thick ass on that damn TikTok. I got a fucking with the sunshine. <laughs> Natasha Manfield, dude. She's a fucking thing. Chris Brown with another hit. Amazing. T Pain with another hit. Amazing. I don't think you understood how this impressive auto tune was back in the day. Uh, this one really is. I'm, I'm not too familiar with a lot of this. Jason Emraz, he had a lot, another one. Um, was it a track with Wayne? I'm trying to remember. Was it a track with Wayne? Let me see. Uh, they don't just show singles out here. He doesn't have that many fucking singles. Uh, can we get... Yo, please? Yo, can I... Yo, please? He got another song that was pretty hot. I don't know what the fuck it was, though. God damn it. I can't, okay, hold up. It wasn't a lucky song. Wait, no, no, no. I gotta find this song. Okay, I don't have to find it that bad. Uh, but he had another song that was pretty hot. Uh, Jesse McCartney. I always thought this nigga was related to... Oh, I didn't call him that. Uh, I thought he was related to, uh, was it Paul McCartney. I don't think he is. Uh, yeah, this one I'm not, I'm not too good with. You know, there's a lot of ones I'm kind of scrolling through and maybe seeing, you know, Paper Plane. Paper Plane came in 2008. Yeah, the album came in 2007. So that was still charting a year later. Rihanna, 
or live your life. Hot in your code, yes, and you know, you're in it, yeah. American boy. Wow, that really dates this, doesn't it? People think American boy is like 27 years old. It was the same year as some of these other tracks. That's crazy. Um, two girls on my guitar. It's country Taylor Swift. Wait, that came in 2006? Okay. She was still charting two years later. Taylor Swift was too powerful. Watch me, you. Uh, I mean, this this is there's some career starters here. I think that's what really was important to recognize. There's some career starters here that really brought some people up. Um, uh, Fergie, this would have been, I mean, uh, that, that group is just a Black Eyed Peas, but this was kind of predating like their seminal hits. Taylor Swift, Love Story. Um, I'm, yeah, I figured it had to come out pretty late to last night for something to be higher. Uh, kind of the end of Britney Spears as like it's a, a massive universal hit. This year has some really good classics, I feel like, but I think you really start seeing, you know, kind of, I mean, this is like Rihanna, T-Pain, Chris Breezy, fucking Central. 2009, this is, this is what I, I know a little bit about 2009. Here we fucking go. I got that boom, boom, pal. <laughs> Poker face. Lady Gaga, I don't think people understand how big Lady Gaga was at her peak. Before she kind of became more of a artistic endeavor in of herself. And not to say that like the shit she was making for her mainstream hits was like cookie cutter bullshit. But this motherfucker was huge in every avenue of... Dude, I had Nintendo DSi and the, uh, the fucking flip studio that you could you know, draw shit on. That the stalker song, uh, Paparazzi, bro, that shit was hitting me in the feels when I was watching like fucking animated animations, drawing flip note animations on, as a fucking 10 year old on a damn DS. I downloaded all that shit, bro. I love the stalker shit. They had, uh, they had ones like just like basically some fan being followed, and then, uh, I think it's like a, a, a punk chick, and they ended up being like close once she kind of got to him. Um, they had uh, they had one with I think Sasuke and Itachi I want to say, and that shit was hot, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I'm your bit. All right, yo, let's, let's calm down. Um, love story. Listen, I've been listening to Love Story OD since uh, she re-released Fearless. I think that's that was album just came off on. Uh, dude, she has some classics, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I'm not the biggest fan of her all the time, but she has some classics, bro. Uh, I mean, look at this top 10, bro. Single ladies. Heartless. I don't listen to all American Rejects, but I recognize they were relevant. Right around, you know, and, uh, 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 Flo Rida, dude, for two, three years there, had everything you could ask for. Boom Boom Pow was pretty relevant. I didn't think it was number one, but it had to be some dogs out. It had to be some damn dogs to get it to where it got to. Uh, you Belong With Me. I mean, this is pretty much like like the last this year and the year before it, like foundation of T Swift, Dan and Gone, kind of the kind of closing out of Ti is really a mainstream. Uh, I would say kind of you closed him out. Um, the song you had with Thugger that was like the end of Taylor Swift. I mean, Ti is like this radio like kind of deity, pretty much gone by that point. Love knocks you down. Everything Kanye I was on. Kanye, he had a really good run. I mean, he was doing some very emotional shit around this time. Very raw shit. And he was still trending pretty fucking well. But this is before Taylor Swift shit, where he really kind of fucked him up. Uh, I'm guessing this is really early Pitbull, because I don't recognize that song. Just live your life. Kiss me through the phone. Soldier Boy, tell him he had him. It's a Soldier Boy, tell him I just Soldier Boy. Uh, let's see. Best I ever had was a decade ago. Decade in Florida. I still have a decade to go. Fuck. Best I ever had, man. Best, yo, when I first heard, uh, best I ever had, and then you hear over the next year. Oh, yeah, and, um, uh, fuck, what was the other one from that time? Best I ever had. Oh, Find Your Love. Find Your Love was the one that was like, this nigga's different. But best I ever had. That hook is amazing. Hello about Beyonce. Beyonce, obviously. Beyonce. 
Um, pretty sure I still had a couple, but I didn't really fuck with it that much. 303, uh, I became aware of them from the Katy Perry song, which I kind of liked a lot. Uh, let's see, Let It Rock. Yeah, fucking Rock Little Wayne. I don't think anyone will ever know about Rock Little Wayne, but that and, um, I'm gonna drop the one that's fucking hair with Eminem. He was really going for that edgy theme. Hardcore. Gaga, what can you say? Oh, yeah, shout out Sean Kingston. He was at Mainstay in 2000 for a while. Jeremy. He had a uh, birthday sets. He had successful, another Drake song. Uh, J- Jeremy had a good couple years there. I would say a lot of staying power, but those couple years he came on really hot. You can get whatever you like. T.I., I don't... T.I. seems like a nigga that just should not have ever been relevant, but that nigga really had some some good, uh... Good radio hits. Uh, how far are we in this? It's 11 minutes. I'm gonna try to make this, like, not a 30-minute video. Crack a bottle. Uh, that's a relapse, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not... I'm not the biggest relapse fan. If I was a boy... That was a song that I think went over a lot of people's fucking head. Uh... Let's see... My queen, paparazzi. God damn it, that album's fucking amazing. I don't think people intend... There's a lot of value to me in putting out a fucking massive album that has massive seminal hits that will last throughout all fucking time. But you don't want to do that at the cost of a good fucking album. Unfortunately, too many people nowadays just putting up bullshit with intending on putting massive singles out. Good Kid, Man, is one of the last rap albums it did it right to me. That shit was just meant to be a good ass fucking album. Uh, Interscope and Aftermath did a good job of pushing the most radio, you know, the ones that did the, the best in terms of uh, uh, introductory feedback to that album. They pushed it and organically came up. Gaga organically came up. There's not enough motherfuckers that are just making organic music. Dude. They're just making, they're trying to make like 20 fucking song albums and have like. 15 of them be like fucking singles. I hope to God that at least five of them stick. It's just, niggas ain't doing it right no more. She got it on a... <laughs> Yo, Neo, I don't know if Neo is so hot or not, but uh, I, I don't think he is. But uh, I like to make myself believe <laughs> that I played it a good <laughs> This song was probably my favorite song on the internet for like three years. I'm not bullshitting you, dude. Fireflies, Paparazzi, Like a G Sits, um, some party rock shit, kinda, uh, kinda. But like, I, dude, I was fucking with like white people music, OD, like in that kind of early two thousand or early twenty tens. And the thing is, if you went on the internet, the shit was everywhere. You couldn't go anywhere that fucking hear Lady Gaga track. You couldn't go anywhere that hearing Fireflies. You shit just got in your ears. And I was always on the fucking internet. Um, I love it in Pirate State of Mind fucking banger single. I, I always love that one. And obviously, it always gets played quite quite a bit. Uh, young Buddy, Cash Buddy. Fucking, we are Young Buddy. Uh, every Girl. This was the, um, the skinny motherfucker with the mohawk. I think this was his track. Uh, I think it's going to be his track and... God, who else would have been on that? Like, Gonna Gonna? I don't know. Who else would have been on this joint? Let me see this. Let me see. Little Twist. That's what his name was. Little Twist. Little Twist. <laughs> Yo. I thought about that nigga. I don't know how long, bro. Little fucking Twist. Gutta Gutta was on this joint, was he? They had Gutta Gutta, Drake, Wayne, Mac Main, and... I, what's Little Twist on this joint? Am I geeking? What song is Little Twist on? Let me see. Little twist. <laughs> yeah. That that people another thing people don't get about Wayne. Wayne's touch was so fucking prominent back then, dude. Little Twist was hot for a little bit. Corey Guns was doing numbers kinda off of uh six foot seven foot. Obviously Nikki and Drake. I mean, that nigga was fucking gold for a while there, bro. People don't get that part. That's why that nigga still gets respect out here like he does. He, he did get a Beeb song. I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> yo, I, yo, Cash Money got that nigga's connection. He didn't deserve. <laughs> he, 
Let's see. He was on a hot track, I feel like, but I don't remember what, what song that would have been. I can't, I really can't remember what, what shit Lil Twist was on, but Lil Twist was on some songs, bro. Trust me, bro. Just, just trust me. I don't know which ones, but don't just trust, just trust me. Uh, let's see. What, what are we on, bro? Um, hey, just throw it in the bag. <laughs> I love college. God damn, dude. I love college. That shit, that song was the biggest line, Big Green Tractor. That shit is still hot to this fucking day, damn country songs. Um, I love college made college seem like a fucking, like, easy money, which comparatively it is, but damn, that shit was, was a lying-ass motherfucker. And time I swag, uh, 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 uh. is this what I was thinking about? This might have been what I was thinking about. I was thinking about Jason uh, Embraz. What the fuck his name was? Hey, like an iPod. I feel like I'm going to replay. Replay. I, I can't remember all the... Uh, my, this is my motherfucking nigga right here. Forever. Forever it was up there. This Just thinking Drake was crazy, bro. Forever. Uh, best I ever had. Uh, Find Your Love. And then every track, Wayne put him on just about every song he had that he could put him on. And then the Cash Money shit. And then the, the um, Nicki Minaj tracks. Uh, I know she put him on quite a few. This nigga Drake, like, I, niggas will know, don't, like, can't conceive why this nigga was, had so much behind him to be hot still in 2022. Pretty Wings, an incredible fucking song. My mom put me onto that. Uh, she had the uh, Maxwell track, or uh, uh, CD for this. Incredible fucking song. I, one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, this nigga just had such a push. Like, I don't I don't know if there's any niggas ever had a push like Drake in my lifetime. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, just in terms of like a year or two, the concentrated push that nigga had. I don't know if I, if I know anybody else has ever had it like that, bro. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I, I don't know anybody else has ever had it like that. nigga has had a push. I'm not even saying it was a, like, it was a plant shit. He did his work. I mean... He came up like kind of underground circuit, kind of quote unquote. Uh, you know, he was cool with backpack niggas like you know, Joe Budden, Lupe, uh, Connor was cool with him for a while. I mean, this nigga did his like time, but that nigga had the most like I'm talking like a fucking like creating a universe, Big Bang shit, and it just exploded for what 13, 14 years now. I I don't know where he be, will become irrelevant, but that nigga had a crazy fucking push, bro. All right, so where are we at now? 17 minutes. So next three minutes, I got other shit to do tonight. I'm just going to run through it. I'm going to say banger or not banger. Tick, tock, banger. Um, hey, so sister, banger. Catlet, font, yeah, girl, banger. Oh, my gosh. Oh, banger. Can we pretend that airplanes are like shooting stars in the sky? Banger. I heard this one like two weeks ago. Still banger. Uh, I can't do every single one. Love the way you lie, banger. Bad romance. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> and she had Alejandro too. God damn it, dude. That motherfucker is an amazing artist. Uh, banger. Dynamite. Banger. God, we do. I'm fucking crying this motherfucker. I only want to break, break, break. <laughs> banger, dude. Uh... They ain't got nothing. Do B.O.B. All right. I'm just saying. B.O.B. He had a moment. Uh, banger. I've heard this one before. Uh, I like it. Enrique, Enrique Iglesias. I can't do it off the top of my head. I can't make a bad rock girl. Um, I've heard this one before, but I can't. Come here, rude boy. boy. Okay. Uh, banger. All those are bangers. Uh, telephone. That was the, the Beyonce. I saw the joint on, uh, on VH. That's really going to date me. I saw it on fucking, uh, was it VH1? Uh, yeah, I think it was, a, no. It was a yellow one. I think yellow one was MTV, uh, AM, like in the morning time. It might have been VH1, but I want to say it was MTV. Uh, I, heard, I saw that joint. I mean, I used to love watching music videos, bro. This shit was fucking inspirational. Can you be my teenage dream tonight? Uh, Bruno Mars, Magic. Mike Posse, I wanted to I wanted to open with Mike Posse just to talk about that dude was a time and place. Cooler than me. Um the the, the uh, Wayne song. 
You wanna ooh? I, I can't do it. I can't. I can't remember enough to, to do the whole hook. Um, and then obviously I took a pill and the bees, which I still play this fucking day, bro. I love that song. I took a pill and the bees. Uh, I was I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Uh, classics and Fire State of Mind classic. He just got his phone in love, bro. I'm still here. That motherfucking boring now. Uh, billionaire. I wanna be a billionaire. So fucking bad. I heard Travi McCoy on fucking MTV all the time. But Bruno fucking Mars. I've heard him all the fucking time on VH1. That motherfucker. Everywhere, dude. Uh, the monkey joint. Wait, when you sit in the crib. I don't wanna do anything today. Uh, that, whatever that song was called. Sitting in the crib. The fucking monkeys come in and shit. I saw that shit about the leaf to go to the uh, to go to the bus one one morning. I was like, this nigga Bruno Mars is everything. It's like everywhere, goddammit. Um This might be the worst song on this list at this point. Not afraid, which I, I'm a hating ass dude on Eminem, modern Eminem, to be honest with you. But be, be, keep it a buck with you, bro. Keep it a straight up buck with you, bro. That might be the worst fucking song on this list so far. Like by by a, a good margin. <laughs> I'm keeping it a buck with you, bro. That might be the worst on this list by a good margin. It might you might have to go down for a while. I, I can't say like I don't I don't know what this. I, I'm familiar with I, I've heard this song one time in my life, but I don't like know anything about the song, bro. Um, your love is my drug. You every catch song on the radio, so I probably heard it before, but I don't know. Like I say, uh 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 uh. Like you say, uh uh. uh. <laughs> Let me know that I mean, that's the wrong song. Um, I've heard this song before, but I gotta I have to look at the lyrics. Find your love, Drake, Aubrey, <laughs> Aubrey. Shout out to yo, this nigga had Kanye writing this shit. Jeff Basker had them niggas producing this shit. This nigga Kanye had everybody in his pocket. Ellie, 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 Okay, uh, just a dream. How low. Like a G, look, 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 look. Uh, Club can't handle me. I've heard this one too. Down, classic track, obviously. Uh, baby, baby, baby. Ah, oh, the biggest song on the fucking internet for like two fucking years. I think that's the first one to do a Billy on YouTube. Uh, it also it was the most disliked video for like half a decade or some shit like that until I think proportion. I think, uh, Rebecca Black's dra- joint had like proportionally higher dislikes, but had had the dislike bar to the fucking lightsaber, man. No, niggas don't know about the lightsaber, bro. There's an entire generation of people right now that have never seen the lightsaber on YouTube. Think about that shit. That shit's been going on for like four years now, four or five years. Let me see. YouTube lightsaber uh, remove. How long has it been? All right. God damn it. I thought, I thought you'd come through for me. Likes, dislikes. All right. Yeah, they removed dislikes entirely, but how long has it been since they removed? N- nigga, please help me out, bro. <laughs> Yo, please, man. Help, 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 help. Please help me. YouTube, please. YouTube, I mean, it, Google, it's the same thing. Help me out, please. I can't look like a fucking idiot. This shit existed, goddammit. It's like the fucking um, Nelson Mandela complex. No. <laughs> please. Please. God, no. I know it existed. This was 2012. I need something more modern than that. This shit existed. I don't, I'm not that old. No. <laughs> I'm No, I'm not that old. No, please. Show me something quicker. It's more realistic. Uh, fucking more reason than that. Oh, my God. No. Lightsaber bar. Oh my god, please, bro. Why, 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 why? Dude, fuck. It's, I swear I got removed like four years ago. Uh, this shit, I'm like a fucking old piece of fuck. God damn it. I'm done, man. Uh, here, we'll just go do it real quick. How much time do we have left? 24 minutes. Holy shit. Um, baby Classic. Uh, Only Girl in the World by Rihanna Classic. Um, Young Forever Classic, Hard by Renner featuring Jeezy. I've heard that song. I don't remember it. Bottoms Up, Trades, Trey Songs. Ain't that Trey Songs was a classic back in the day. Uh, My Chick Bad, My Chick Good, Classic, You Belong Me, Classic. Uh, Take It Off, Don't Remember That. Over by Drake. That's definitely a classic. Uh, 
I don't remember any Maroon 5 song that's not fucking good. Oh my god, I didn't even fucking mention uh, moves like Jagger. Holy shit. Uh, Rivers Cuomo featuring B.O.B. That's how much of a touch B.O.B. had that Rivers Cuomo song was fucking hot. Not even uh, uh, fucking Weezer, just Rivers Cuomo. New Boys. They did Jerk, yeah. You're a jerk, 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 jerk. Part of the USA Classic, Your Love. Yo, then he couldn't sing for shit. But that was a classic. Um, Forever, again, a classic. Two is better than one. I, I, I've i heard that song before. I know I heard that song before, but I don't remember it, bro. I know I heard that song before. I, I know I did. Uh, let's see. We're kind of parsing through here at this point. All I do is win. Come on, obviously. Um, that Rudolph's really hot for a second there. That is a... Uh, uh, okay, uh, I'm thinking about another song. It's not this one. Um, Usher still had... There it goes. My, okay. Usher, Usher. Usher classic. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Right above it, one of my favorite Wayne Drake collaborations. Maybe my favorite one. Uh, let's see... Teach me how to look at it. Oh, I bet it's love it. Oh, oh, it. Yo, it's crazy what happened that, that like, that group group. They, like, half of them died. Like, that's a crazy shit of old time, dude. It's weird as fuck. Half of them died, dude. I don't know if you could, that's just so fucking weird, bro. Twice in the head, bro. What the fuck? It's so weird, dude. God, wait, bro. It's weird. They, like, I don't know. It's, it was weird thinking about. Um. Oh, I bet you love me. Oh, oh I bet you love me. <laughs> oh, I bet you love me. You ain't fucking with my doggy. I think I already went through this one, right? 2011. Um, 2011 is a classic. It's the best year in all these years I looked at so so far. I'll go through it real quick. I guess kind of give you a kind of full in the deep classic party rock anthem classic firework classic. Uh, ET classic. Give me everything tonight. Classic grenade classic. Get you classic super bass classic. I got them moves like Jack. Just can't get enough. Uh, classic, on the floor. Classic, pumped up kicks. Generational. When I first heard that shit on the fucking VH1, I came. Uh, classic. Last. <laughs> Last Friday night. This is like a, a fucking cutting room floor track for Katy Perry. Katy Perry was so fucking hot back in the day, dude. So oh, fucking. God, the bitch was hot. Um. Just the way you are. That was, was that the. Stay at home. No, that wasn't. That wasn't that one. Bruno Morris had like 97 fucking singles all turned at the same time. Uh, Born This Way. That's where he kind of started getting to like kind of the kind of left the center. Way left the center the Gaga. Uh, but classic. Uh, uh, what's my name? Uh, classic. Look at me now. Ooh, look at me now. Uh, How to Love Little Wayne. Classic. Someone like you with Dale. Of course, classic. Lazy song, that's what it is. Lazy song. Another fucking classic by Bruno Mars. I have so many. Uh, the show goes on by Lupe. Maybe the last, other than Jump, I believe it's like the last Lupe song on the chart. Like the last 10 fucking years, which is sobering because I love Lupe. Um, I don't think Jump charted, but it did pretty well for itself. Uh, the Edge of Glory, kind of like this rock ballad ish Lady Gaga uh, classic. We are who we are. Classic. Uh, Black and Yellow classic. Tonight. Tonight. By Hot Show Ray. I've not heard that band in, since then. Classic. Uh, Lighters. I don't, do, I, do I give Bad Meets bad Evil's classic? I don't know. I remember when I first seen that music video. And I was, it really had a Bruno Morris hook. I love Bruno Morris shit. I don't know. Bruno Morris is a classic. Uh, if I die young, I, I haven't heard the track. At least I don't think so. Stereo Hearts, one of my favorite, oh my god, my favorite guilty pleasures. So many guilty pleasures back in the day. Uh, we're only 36, I'm still like scoring classic. That shit is definitely a classic. Uh, shout out to Gym Class Heroes. Dirty bit, do, 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 do. Uh, this is, this is the, what I was saying earlier, Come Home by by uh, by Diddy. That's what I was kind of going out there and saying a little bit. Only Girl in the War by Rihanna, classic course. It's for seven, but seven foot, mentioned that one before. Uh, Dynamite, No Hands. Ooh, that only charted 45th. Wow, that's a bar classic, definitely. Uh, I'm on one. Say, fuck it, I'm on one. 
You had three times. Chris Brown said some uh, stony pop. Moment for Life. That was a Drake song. That's the, I think it was the... They had a collaboration on Beam Me Up Scotty, which I cannot pretend to know what that was off the top of my head, but uh, I know she remits Find Your Love, which was decidedly worse than the original track. I Need a Doctor. Quite aged like shit, but at the time it was really good. Uh, Jar of Hearts. Ooh, Christina Perry. God damn, I love Christina Perry back in the day. That in Arms. Oh, Christina Perry. I love Christina Perry. Didn't age well, but I love Christina. Yeah. Says he had, I know it. Uh, oh, the lights by Kanye West, the highest short song on this list. Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, had power, had power, had the song power. Uh, Tiny Temper, that that dude's existence is a classic. Uh, written, I do, I do remember this song because, like, it was, I do remember this song, I'm pretty sure. I remember a Tiny Temper song. If you throw on like three Tiny Temper songs, one of them had to be one, the one that came out of my head. You think I was falling in love? Yeah, I'm falling in love tonight. Um, yeah, I sure people, people, everything classic, obviously. Uh, we found love in a broken place. Uh, so yeah, another Calvin Harris classic, of course. I think it's a new concept. That's a relatively new concept at this point. A Calvin Harris classic. Pretty good rapper, Carrie Hilson. Great artist at the time. Uh, Lucky like G Sis actually tried it lower at this point. They came out a year earlier though, uh, than Rocketeer. Uh, Teenage Dream. Uh, it's still an amazing track, obviously. Uh, I just want, I don't, I don't remember this one. I know this song came out, and I do know that I probably heard it, but I don't remember this one. Uh, so yeah, we're really getting new boys featuring Cataracts and Dev. Cataracts and Dev, dude, they really put some fucking work in, huh? Oh, uh, let me see, let me see what you're talking about. In fact, I could have had it on MySpace back in the day. Damn it, man. I should have had it on MySpace. Headlines by Drake. Let's fucking go. That was the lead single. Uh, is that the... No, the... This was the lead single for that... For that. I, I remember seeing the music video for this. And it was like him going in the elevator. It's like a bunch of flashing lights. Love that fucking uh, music video. Uh, we're still looking at classics. And we're just far down, bro. Price tag for this J. Not a classic, but... Jesse J, dude. This is one thing about Jesse J that I'm, I always fuck with. I'm not going to say what it is. Maybe she won't. Wait. Uh, maybe, maybe she will. Yeah. <laughs> Doing it for the rest of the fucking game right now. She will. She will. <laughs> my last, my Big Sean featured Chris Brown. Kind of, they pretty much come up on Big Sean. Uh, God, we can't do this anymore, dude. We, we can't. We can't do this anymore, bro. We, we got this is 25 minutes, 32 minutes. Holy shit. Rock on forever, bro. I'm gonna drop this shit raw. I'm not even gonna edit it, bro. Anyway, my point is proven. I don't even need to read the rest of these off. 2008 to 2009 ish to about 2014. Classic. Happy. All of me. I'm so fancy. Charlie SCS come up. All about that bass. I'm yelling Timber. Royals, Lord. Adina Menzel, very attractive woman. Uh, she has a very large... Uh, listen. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get myself in trouble. Uh, <laughs> Chandelier by Sia. Sia has some pawns, bro. That's it. We're done. I could go on for another 50 minutes about this shit. I can go to bed. 940, holy shit. Hope you motherfuckers enjoy. Good music going to last forever. All of the bullshit... It's here today and 